All right, bitches, back for more Dokkan Battle. Today, we're going to go ahead and finish up the Tree of Might event because this is going away for a very, 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 very long time afterwards. All right, so let's just jump right in. We'll go to the next stage, which is Peace Restored, and then we got uh, three more to go through after that. No, not that one. Okay. Uh, so who should we bring? Oh, there's that cell. Yeah, I guess we'll bring that cell. Why not? I'm not sure if I've brought that cell before on camera. Uh, we will go with this squad. That's fine. Now, I think I'm going to test out uh, using the uh, gold, new Golden Freeze we have in the last stage of this uh, event here. So I'll probably train our Golden Freeze up with some of those... Uh, turtle shells and just give golden freeze like a quick 70 levels i think i'm gonna do that all right so let's go ahead and take bardock chan down hey bardock yeah this is just a stage where it's like yeah hey so funny how the saiyans you know a lot of those low cast warriors look alike huh and you know then we fight old uh bardock here we fight uh turles and then of course Goku. Hey, why not? Let's just give him a Hercule. What blam? Let that LR Goku put some business on him. So, in the meantime, before we Dokkan uh, that Goku into the, uh, like, the second stage, because we have this Goku right here. He Dokkans into a transcendent UR, and then that one Dokkans into the actual LR Goku. Before I Dokkan him into the transcendent UR version... I need to make sure to get his super attack up to level 10. And in order to do that, uh, I have those two spare Super Saiyan uh, Gokus. I need to awaken the two of them first. Uh, so they become URs. And then at that point, it's a 100% chance of raising our Goku's attack. Then once he's at super attack 10, that's when I'll awaken him. Now... I probably won't use any of the Elder Kai or uh, Santa Master Roshis that we have on the LR Goku. I probably will use them on the LR Androids, though. Uh, okay, so what will give us... Looks like that one. Um, the reason, of course, is the LR cards, they can go up to Super Attack 20 and... Because their modifier for their special attacks uh, is Colossal for their 12-key special attack and Mega Colossal for their 18-key special attack. So if you have their super attack at, like, 20, they do, like, millions of damage. So I probably uh, will use a bunch of them on the androids when they come out. Now, they're going to be out really, really soon. Because uh, in order to get the LR androids, I'm pretty sure I've explained this multiple times. I'll just go ahead and talk about it. Because, I mean, there's not really... This event, this Tree of Might event, there's not, like, a lot of meat and potatoes to this. This is kind of fillery. The last stage is interesting, but up until then, not much. So, in order to get the LR androids, you actually friend summon uh, an SR version. And then you use boss medals to awaken them. From an SR to an SSR to a transcended UR, and then to finally the LR version. Now, there's only two boss battles left that need to come out uh, for the LR androids. This, of course, is Buhan, which comes out, uh, I believe it comes out on Christmas Eve. Uh, let's go with a... How about we bring uh, Kaioken Blue Goku? Um, and then Golden Frieza uh, is uh, the next boss and Dokkan Fest that comes out. And I actually looked in the uh, DBZ Space uh, database. You know, they uh, data mine info and shit. And uh, all the Golden Frieza and the Dokkan Awakenings for the old Golden Friezas are actually in the database right now. Which means the Golden Frieza Dokkan Festival and boss is coming very, very soon. Now, of course, we had... You know, we got that one really good pull. We have our agility Golden Frieza now. Uh, so I'll be able to Dokkan Awaken him once that boss battle comes out. Plus also grind up a bunch of medals 
for the LR androids when that comes out. I think, I think the androids like that, it comes out like almost at the same time as the uh, Golden Frieza Dokkan Festival, if I remember correctly from JP. Also, Turles, Raditz, and Nappa talking shit. What's funny is that Turles is way stronger than Raditz and Nappa. You know, Nappa can't really accept the fact that even though he's an elite, uh, a lot of these low-class warriors bitch him out. Like, you know, Goku, Turles. Uh, Bardock is also way stronger than Nappa. Because Bardock is around the level of King Vegeta uh, at the time of Bardock's death. Now, I actually don't remember off the top of my head. I would have to actually, like, uh, do a little digging. Uh, I believe King Vegeta and Bardock are around the power level of Vegeta when he arrives on Namek. I believe so. Like, Vegeta's power when he takes down uh, Kui as soon as he lands on Namek, that's how strong... Uh, damn. Oh, Trunksu. Alright, we'll do that. We'll blammo. Uh, it doesn't matter, because Raditz is probably not going to survive an attack. You know what? I suppose he might, huh? Uh, no. No. Come on. Will he survive? Actually, he might. No, okay, good. I was going to say, because I was thinking about using my key boosting items... So we can see that Trunks is a uh, special attack. Uh, Alright, we'll go ahead and get some more key. Why not? Yeah, good. Go to that Trunks. That's fine. Because we still have two more fights. we got to take down Nappa and then Turles. Uh, definitely want to get this money. I've been doing so many Dokkan Awakenings uh, lately that um, I've actually lost a little bit of money. Okay, this is good. This is probably a Fruit of Tree of Might right here. Uh, definitely always could use more of those. I actually use those to pretty good effect during the tournament. And we'll go ahead and grab this. And let's go ahead and beat Nappa Chan's ass now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's let this fucking monster handle business here. <laughs> I would love Kaioken Blue Goku, but I am done. I will not spend even one stone. Uh, listen, this is a promise to you guys. You, This is going in stone, okay? I will only use stones to replenish stamina until the Rose Goku Black event. I will spend no stones on anything. No YOLO pulls, no... Okay, let's toss five stones on the Buhan banner. Let's toss five stones, you know, on the Omega Shenron banner. None of that. None of that. We're saving everything. Our entire fat load of cum, we're saving all of it for that Rose Goku Black banner. That's what the fuck we're going to do. Oh, I love these orb changers. Uh, right there. Perfect. Perfecto. Hey, you know what? I like. I think for a second, I have been going back and forth about regretting uh, continuing the summon on the, uh, you know, the Christmas banner after we pulled the Golden Frieza. But I don't know, man. I, I feel like Android 13. It it could be pretty good that we got him. And that Go Tanks. Who knows? Again, it it could turn out. Pretty, pretty solid that we have that Gotenks. Uh, I, I'm going to have to obviously test them out uh, in combat first. I definitely want to do a run of uh, Kaioken Blue Goku, you know, with uh, Gotenks on the team and Golden Freeze on the team. And I'm sure uh, I'll have a much better run through that boss than I have previously. I still have never lost to the Kaioken Blue Goku fight, though. I've lost to uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku a couple times because I, I just wasn't... It's so easy, and I was uh, training up weaker characters that I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, I haven't lost to Vegeta, and I haven't lost to Kaioken Blue, though. Okay, so we're done with this stage. Yeah, that stage is weird because Turles is like, all right, I'm going to come back to the planet later on, and it's like, uh... 
what alternate universe are we in again where you're gonna be doing this surless I, I don't quite get it all right so let's go ahead and drop a stone there to replenish stamina yeah i you know i still am gonna have to use a lot of stones to replenish stamina because again there's many bosses and sh and like different fights that i'm gonna have to do i think i'm gonna bring that kid boo uh, there's just a lot of things that I've got to do until uh, shit comes out. Okay, so we, let's let's bring uh, boot tanks. Let's bring uh, Grand Supreme Kai, and let's bring uh, let's bring Bacterian. Yeah, sure. Bam. All right, so now we get to see all of these low-class Saiyans who have the same face. Oh, Mazaka! Three Gokus! Yeah, they don't have many different types. The warrior race. Yeah, better fuck them up quick. Yeah, this is another uh, ridiculously easy stage. I believe I've heard people say this is the stage where they try and grind out um, the Bardock card. Oh, fierce battle, huh? Okay. Uh, let's do... Doesn't matter. We'll do that. Uh, and let's go ahead and drop some key. Definitely want to see Kid Boo's planet burst. I still probably would like to pull this Boo one day. But I don't, you know, I would, it probably is not that, that important, honestly. I think that Boo is only okay. Hold on, let's take a look real quick. Uh, his planet burst, does it lower defense? I think it does, right? Because that does make it a little better. Uh, okay, keep boo. Yeah, it does lower defense. Supreme damage, recover 12 HP. Yeah, he does have big bad bosses, which I've heard some people say big bad bosses is like the best link in the game. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Alright, bye Bardock. Although, this boo is pretty low level, but whatever. Planet Burst. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, I do like that. And uh, that boo tanks, I did talk about it earlier, but he is going to be getting a Dokkan once um, uh, fuck the uh, Buhan boss comes out in, what, uh, six, seven days? It's actually Christmas right now, so a couple days, uh, a couple days away. Uh, so I'm gonna have I gotta farm up that boss so many times because I need to fight the boss 11 times for Buhan medals I need to fight the damn boss uh, For boo piccolo medals for boo tanks medals for LR Android medals like fuck me Not only that, but I gotta farm up the SR Buhans that you get from that event fuck me. Oh Boy, that's gonna be rough man. Because I'm going to have... You know what? Actually, hold on, hold on. I made that promise about not spending stones for anything but stamina. I might amend that just a little bit. I might need more space, actually. Thinking about it, I'm... Yeah, I'm probably going to need space. Because I'm going to need to have... Uh, between 20 to 30... Um, SR Buhans that you can farm from the Buhan boss battle. And you need those to raise up Buhan's super attack. I mean, I'm going to have to farm up again 20 to 30 of those guys, and they're just going to be sitting in the box. So, I'm going to need extra space, actually. So, I do have to spend some stones to raise space. But only stamina, space, and the Rose Goku Black Banner. Those three, that is it. That is fucking it for months and months. Uh, you know what? Let's do Grand Supreme Kai, since we can go ahead and get him his color there. And, oh, nope, I can't actually get him a special attack. That sucks dick. Oh, well. Uh, there is always next time. Because, I mean, we do still have to do the Black uh, Star Dragon Ball Saga. Oh, yeah, let me hurry up. Because we still got to do that last uh, Turles stage, too. Well, blame. The strongest Majin. Well, except for Buhan. <laughs> I guess as of right now, like, we're talking power levels in the show. Uh, I do think Boo Tanks is probably stronger than Kid Boo as well. 
I think both Boo Tanks and Boo Han are not a little stronger than Kid Boo, but a lot stronger. That's what I think. Uh, da, 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 whatever. Let's just have Kid Boo blam on him with the Planet Burst. Well, actually, he's not going to get it. Whatever. Fuck it. Who cares? Turles is not going to do too well once Vegito is slapping him around. That's how that goes. All right, so after we're done with this stage, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do I've refrained from doing friend summons as long as possible because I've been saving up all of my friend summon points for the uh, LR androids, of course. Uh, we'll do one single friend summon to get uh, one you know filler character. Then we're gonna uh, train up our golden Frieza for a little bit and we're gonna test them out in the fight against uh, Turles here. Okay, so it looks like this was a dream Piccolo had before the Saiyans arrived. So it must have been right around when he was training Gohan. All right, that's cool. Okay. And we're done here. Thank you. Uh, no, don't need you. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Woo! That banner. Thank you for that Golden Frieza, motherfucker. And how funny was it, man? Everyone was so upset that they took Vegito out of that banner. We were like, what the fuck? Why did they do that? But they had an interesting idea. They put Gotenks, Gogeta, and Vegito in that Christmas banner. Very, very interesting. Those sneaky bastards. They knew what they were doing. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to hold back. We're going to bust out a gravity room for a double experience. What if we just put, like, uh, candy canes in there? <laughs> yeah, I probably would only need, like, one, actually. Yeah, look. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to save those, though. Uh, I can give him a shell. Wow, 46, huh? Those shells give a lot of experience, too. Jeez. Uh, let's give him a sword. Uh, another sword. And one more sword. Bam. Bam. And there we go. Golden Frieza all the way up. Uh, you know what? I think we're actually also going to awaken this Golden Frieza uh, just into his uh, UR form here. Uh, I have used a lot of fucking metals, so I'll tell you guys that for free. All right, so there he is. Uh, max level. Uh, yeah, I had a lot more of these old Kai medals and stuff. Look at that. I'm down to six, and we're about to go down to five. But I, I had to use a bunch of them for uh, my Super Strike cards. Because, like, you know, I had to awaken, like, Chilled and King Vegeta and shit. It's it's actually, it sucks. But whatever. We, we got to do this. We got to get stronger. It's what we got to do. Okay, so, yeah, this is a huge boost to Golden Frieza's stats here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Thank you. Bam. And now Golden Frieza is up to that UR. The last 20 levels don't give, uh, like, huge monster stats or anything. So we're good like that. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and build a team for this Turles event here. Uh, okay, so we've got Vegito, Golden Frieza. Uh, we're actually going to take out Gotenks, and we're going to put in Gogeta. Gogeta is actually pretty important for this. Oh, this is by Acquired, so Gogeta's down here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I like this. Yeah. Yep, this will work. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do the final stage in the Turles Tree of Might event. And of course, uh, this stage, this is where you get the uh, Awakening Medals so that you can actually awaken Turles uh, into the super good one. And we, I'm just seeing what else there is, but we need a 10 Super Vegito. Let's bring some Babas. And uh, this last one, I don't know, King Yama. No, uh, Ox King. I may use an item or two here. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, Turles, this is kind of what this is right here. Remember when we were going through the event and they kind of skipped over? Like the point where Turles turns Gohan into a gray ape? Like they just skipped past that super quick? Basically... This stage is that portion of the, uh, like, Tree of Might movie. Yeah, uh, Turles is like, come on, man. We're, there's only a handful of Saiyans left. And Goku's like, fuck you. 
And then Tyrellus is like, oh, okay. All right, yeah, let's get the, ooh, let's get those gold capsules, boy, yes. Absolutely. Uh, getting key would be cool, but whatever, we're fine, we're fine. Thank you. And we need a three, huh? Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna grab, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I just... Anytime I can get one of these rare Awakening Medals, I gotta do it. I just gotta always prioritize Awakening Medals. Uh, especially with how many characters I've awakened recently now. All of those Super Strike characters I awakened, like, that costed a lot of fucking medals, man. And I still wanna, um, awaken a second Mecha Frieza and then a second King Vegeta before I'm ready to do the LR Goku event. So my supplies are getting lower and lower, and my Dragon Stones dip back below 500. That's not great. I'll tell you that for free. Okay, here we go. And Golden Frieza will go ahead and negate all that damage for us. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, suck that dick, Turles. Hee, 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 hee. Uh, again, this is like a real fight, by the way. Um, Vegito will be able to finish him off next turn. But here, so here's what Golden Freezer does. Yeah, this is going to do like nothing. Golden Freezer will basically completely negate the damage that. Look at that! 2,600! That was a special attack! Vegito would have taken fucking 50,000. Oh, I, I should have just did the ultimate with Goten. Damn. Vegito would have taken like 50,000 from that. All right, this does, well, no, we're, okay, I was gonna say, yeah, this does suck. We're not gonna have uh, Vegito for the second phase of this fight, but guess what? <laughs> we got Golden Frieza! Ah! <laughs> yeah, boy! That Golden Frieza comes in so clutch, man! Yes! All right, and Goku's like, get the fuck out of here! How dare you! We're not evil like you damn Saiyans. And then Turles is like, oh yeah, by the way, here you go. Turles himself does not turn into an ape, though. He, I guess he just didn't want to. I mean, honestly, if Turles had turned into an ape... Oh, but you know what? Turles is a low-class Saiyan. Would Turles have been able to keep his senses as a gray ape? That's hard to tell. Because doesn't Vegeta say that only... Elites are able to control themselves, but that's probably a skill they can learn themselves. Because think about it this way. Raditz was still... When people grabbed his tail, Raditz still got weak. But Goku, when he was a child, trained that weakness away. And then Vegeta and Nappa also trained that weakness away. So I feel like the Great Ape transformation, that's something that like Goku probably could have been able to get it to where he controls himself if he tried. All right, so here's why this fight, it doesn't give me trouble. I've never lost. Wait, actually, I have lost. Have I lost this fight? I might have lost one time in this fight. I think I did, actually. But because they have the advantage over us tech, uh, that does put us at quite the disadvantage. But uh, it, they, they still, they go down pretty easy. They're not, like, super powerful. It's just if they both decide to use like um a special attack it can get a little messy all right but guess what golden frieza negates the shit out of that so golden frieza the damage he does yeah like that look at that if we had vegeto sitting there vegeto would have taken over a hundred thousand damage both of those attacks i think i think the great ape does like uh 50 or 60 and turles might do around 80 actually all right, so let's do this. No, you know what? Let's do this. Yeah. Um. All right, we're going to go for... Well, since I've already done damage to Turles, let's go ahead and go for him. Uh, we'll do that. Vegeta only needs one. Goten only needs three, so we'll hit these reds. No. No, because Gogeta's coming up next. Uh, Vegito, Gogeta, and Golden Frieza. God damn, that's a stacked run right there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna save all those for Vegito, Gogeta, and them. Alright, so no special by Turles. Wow, almost 30. That's a lot. That is a lot of damage, Turles. Alright, I know. Wow, 100,000. Damn. Uh, obviously, since they're tech, 
they take way less damage than they normally would. Okay, um... Huh. Honestly, guys, I'm tempted to toss Golden Frieza in that first slot. But I'm gonna do this instead. I'm actually gonna use a Baba. And uh, we're gonna get through this real quick now. Alright, so let's go ahead and have... Let's have Vegito grab that. Let's have Gogeta grab these. And let's have Golden Frieza get this. Okay. So, I don't think the fight is going to be over, but it's going to be close here. I should have had Gogeta attack Gohan, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. This might finish him off. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think we're done here. Uh, just, you guys saw what I meant, though. That first turn, if we didn't have Golden Frieza, they would have did over 100,000 damage with the two supers combined. But, I mean, Golden Frieza is really good. <laughs> He's really good, man. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So we're not quite done yet. That's fine. All right, so you need two, huh? So we'll go ahead and do that. Vegito also needs two, so we'll go ahead and do that. And we San can just go ahead and do that. Very good, very good. How swimmingly and smooth this went. With a basically all, all agility team, too. Only uh, Gogeta's not uh, agility on our squad. Pretty good, pretty good. That just shows you how incredible Vegito is. Oh, God, this is so good. Of our seven units, three are really powerful defensive units. That's how I like to play. I like, uh, you know, focusing on defense. I just, I love that. I love that so much. Oh, so good. So good. All right. So there's that. The Tree of Might event is donezo. Uh, we still got a lot of shit to record. Now, obviously, the Gogeta, Gotenks, and Vegito events, I don't actually have to record those. I've already recorded them. I do have to grind them out a little bit. Uh, so I'll be back, uh, pretty soon with the, uh, the, okay, the Black Star Saga. That lasts to, like, January 10th. That's around for a long time. So we'll probably do the Goku and the Vegeta SS3 events, and we also gotta do Kaioken Blue Goku. Uh, I'm not sure which team I'll use with Kaioken Blue Goku. I might use I might use an agility team and then use a tech team. I might do it twice. I think I'll do that, actually. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, later, bitches!